I would never say the ch the probability is zero, but looking through how you know improbable it is that you and I are having this conversation, the fact is we don't have any evidence right now that there are other life forms that rise to the level of many many lo sigma confidence levels, right? So, I think you know from my perspective, it would be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, discovery of all time. But we always have to tamper that with with our expectations as scientists should be driven by data. And one of the arguments I want you to react to is people saying things like, well, you know, there's 10 to the 22nd, you know, possible stars in the observable universe. Each one of them could have a 10 to 100 planets around them or minor bodies. There's got to be life out there. How do you react to that argument? Do you think it's plausible? That there's other life out there? Well, do you or think that that... We're, we're already proof of one. Yes. So I think it's a little hubris to think that we could not be the only one. The question here is in time. And mm -hmm. time is what you know well, the age of the universe. And the question really is not whether there's other life in the universe or whether there's other life in the galaxy. Probably a good standpoint science question is, is there other life that coexists in this moment with us talking right now? And if you put it in that frame, like you think about the Drake equation, which tries to calculate the number of civilizations or communicating civilizations, the leading factor of that is time, right? Like the lifetime of life existing and coexisting with us. So you could take the premise that we are one of that 10 of the 22. That's a pretty boring universe in my opinion, but that is an opinion. And uh, you know, that's where you need data. But if you take the premise that we should not be the only ones, right? That we were a byproduct, life was a byproduct, bathroom scum is a byproduct, dogs are cats, <laughs> dolphins to humans are a byproduct of this universe, of our baryonic universe for you, then the question is whether they could exist with us in our own galaxy. Are they existing around other planets that have similar characterizations of, of habitability like Earth? And then the rough part here in that calculation is could they potentially be coexisting us in this small sliver, mm -hmm. right? Like we are, our technology in this moment is just the tiniest sliver of time in all of the age of the universe. So that I think time is the most important answer to your question. Mm -hmm. Now you not only knew Frank Drake, you also won the Drake Award. And what was Frank like? I mean, he was one of the guests that kind of got away. I never got to meet him or have a conversation on the channel with him. Frank wa is, was a brilliant scientist, obviously a pioneer in the field of SETI, but was a very thoughtful human being, right? Like he really brought in the, the importance of science, hypothesis, the scientific rigor to the field of life in the universe.